Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are going to see the new topic of a new book of the ICSC mathematics and this is the latest edition. So I have started from chapter number seven because we have already now the term is going to end. So you can also let me know if you have done the previous chapters do you need the help in the previous chapter and i will be doing it but at a later i'll be uploading this the previous uh, chapters videos so right now i tentatively just i have started this one with the seventh chapter so do let me know the chapter which is going on in your school right now in the comment session so now we'll start with the ratio and proportion and this is the part one of it. So now first thing you should know what is a ratio. So actually ratio is a, that is a comparison of, it can be two or more quantities. And then we can express the ratio this in, in different ways. So sometimes you must have seen just these two dots. This is called a colon. So it can be like three. We can say this is three is to two. Or it can be a fraction. So fraction means three by two. So this will be in the one number will be in the numerator and the other will be in the denominator. Or it can also be the word written two. So three to two. So this all is the same. So these are the different ways. And then always whenever we get a final answer, it should be a ratio is always expressed in the simplest form. Suppose we get 10 by 15. So now what you have to do, this also is divisible by 5 and this also is divisible by 5. So what will be the final answer? 2 by 3. So this is in the now in the simplest form. So hope you got it. So ratio is always expressed in the simplest form. So the final answer, whatever we get, that should be in the simplest form. And the ratio A is to B is not the same as B is to A. Now suppose I'm writing here 3, this is 3 and this is 2. So the b is 2 and a is 3 so if i'm writing here 2 is to 3 so this is not the same as both are different so now let us start with the exercise that is 7.1 so now they said find the ratio of rupees 3 to 75 paise so in this one we have to see now rupees is definitely going to be a bigger one and you are this you are going to convert it to 75 paise so now you know one rupee is uh, if you want you can write one more step over here that is one rupee will be 100 paise so three rupees will be three into 100 so that will be 300 paise so what are you going to write in place of this you will write here 300 paise and this 75 paise as it is so you are going to put a colon over here that is true so whenever these things are there that means you can divide it so 300 divided by this 75 so now what will be that 75 ones are and 75 Fours are. So that is going to be 4 divided by 1. So that will be 4 is to 1. So this is the answer. So now let us see for the next one. That is 40 centimeter to 1 meter. So now here what we can do this 1 meter is a bigger one because meter is bigger than the centimeter. So you know one meter is 100 centimeter. So you have to see for the, we are going to convert 40 centimeter to one meter. Here what we are going to do, 40 centimeter is to 100 centimeter. So here you know, in place of this, you are going to put 100 both in centimeter. So this will be 40 divided by 100. So this and this gets canceled. So you can simplify this one, two twos are because four divided by 10, this also goes with two, this also goes with two. So that is going to be two by five, and that will be two is to five. Now here, 125 ml to two liters. So you know this liter is a bigger one. So two liter means one liter is 1000 ml. So two liters is going to be two into 1000 ml, that is going to be 200, uh, sorry, 2000 ml. So now this will be the same, but in place of 2 liter, you are going to put here 2000 ml. So now you are going to divide it 125 divided by 2000. So simplify it. So 125 ones are and 125 16s are. Or you can just divide and see 2000 divided by this one, 125, if you cannot do it directly. 
and you will get 16 over here. So that will be 1 by 16. So that will be, you, want, you have to write it in 1 is to 16. So now here, 35 meter, this is minutes to, sorry, uh, that will be 3 hours. So you know 1 hour is, now you have to convert this hours to minutes. So 1 hour is 60 minutes. So 3 hours is going to be 3 into 60. So that will be 180 minutes. So this is going to be the same. This is already in minutes. So this is going to be 180 minutes. So that will be 35 divided by 180. So now here what will we do? See here, sometimes you don't know which is the, now see if this is divisible by 5. This also is divisible by 5. So whenever there is the big number, you can take the SCF. You can take the SCF of 35. So what is the SF of 35? 5, 7, za and 7, 1, za. So these are the factors. Now we will take for 180. 180 means this goes with always when you do the prime factorization method means you will always go with the smaller number. Now this is 0 over here, so 290s are. Then again with 2, 245s are. Then this goes with 3, 315s are. And then 35s are and 51s are. So these are the factors of 180. So now you'll write one below the other. 35 means 5 into 7. And this will be 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. Can you see here? These are the factors of it. So now what you can see common is just 5. So this is the SCF. SCF is, means the only the common factors. So what are you going to do? 35 you are going to divide it by 5. And 180 you are going to divide it by 5. So this will be 7. And when you divide this by 5, means it is going to be 36. So hope you got this. If there is a big number and you don't know how to simplify, go with the HCF method. So that will be 7 by 36. So this is a simplified one. So the answer is 7 is to 36. So now let us see. Divide rupees 1050 in the ratio 7 is to 8. So total parts here, now we will add this one, 7 plus 8, that is going to be 15. So these are the total parts. So now each part, so now look at here, this is 1050. So each part is going to be, because total parts we got as 15, so total parts always it will be in the denominator. So 1050, we are going to divide it by 15. So first part means this is, the, this is 7, so 7 into we got each part as 70. So this is, there are, there are seven parts. So first part that is going to be here, 7 into 70. So that is going to be 490. So second, it is going to be, second part is going to be here. We have the ratio as 8. So 8 into, we got the first part as 70. So 8 into 70. So that is going to be 560. Now how to check? See, the because it is, the total is 1050. So when you add this and this one, 490 plus 560. So what do you get here? 1050. So this is one of the way to check your answer. So this is first you have to see the total parts. Then you have to find out each part. And then you have to see one part, first part that is 7. Here is 7. So 7 into 70. That is 490. And second part that is 8 into 70. That is 560. Now here you have to simplify it. So what you have to do first, this is a mixed fraction. So we have to make it to improper one. So you know one integer one by two. So what you do, you multiply this into this, that is going to be two. Two plus one, that is three. And this you will keep as it is. So it is three by two. Same for here. This is going to be eight, eight plus one, that is going to be nine, nine by four. Nine plus one, that will be 10, 10 by three. So now you will take the LCM of this one, 2, 4, and 3. So 2, 4, and 3, when you take the LCM here, 2, 1, za, 2, 2, za, and this 3 will be as it is. Now again, you will go with 2, 2, 1, za. This 1 and 3 will be as it is. So now 3, 1, za, this 1 and 1 will be as it is. You get 1, 1, 1, so you have to stop at that stage. 3, 2, za, 6, 6, 2, za, 12. So LCM is 12. So now what you have to do, you have to make this 6, so 2, 6 are 12. So this also should be multiplied by 6. 4, 3 are 12. So this also should be multiplied by 3. 3, 4 are 12. So this also should be multiplied by three. No, 4 here. So this is that step what I, what I have done. Look at this step. 
So this will be 18, 27, and 40. The rest the denominator is 12 for all of them. 18, 27, and 40. So now since the denominators here are same, we are just going to ignore the denominators and then the answer will be 18 is true. But the numerator will write it 18 is true, 27 is true, 40. Now same over here. This is going to be 4 plus 3, 7 by 4. 2 twos are 4 plus 1, 5 by 2. 6, 7 by 2. So the LCM for this is going to be 4. This is a smaller number, so you can directly know, do it 4. You know the LCM is 4. So this should be multiplied by 2. Here we already have 4 means. That is 1. We usually don't write 1. So that will be 7 by 4. And this will be this, what I have told now. That will be 2 into 2, 5 into 2, 2 into 2, and 7 into 2. So this is the same. 10 by 4, 14 by 4. So now the denominator is same. So just write this one. 7 is to 10 is to 14. Now here Muskan and Harshita share chocolates in the ratio 3 is to 4. So what you are going to do? You have Muskan gets 48 chocolates. So how many does Harshita get? So you have to write the given things. So now first thing let us see. Let the total chocolates be. Because 3 is to 4 means we can write here 3x plus 4x. And that is 7x. So Muskan gets, what is this? Because whenever this 3 is to 4 means this is for Muskan and this is for Harshita. So now 3x. So 3x and the total Muskan gets 48 chocolates. So Muskan is 3x. So 3x is 48. So first thing we will find out what is x. x will be 48. This is multiplication. So this is going to get divided. So 3 16s are 48 divided by 3. So you can see here. That is 16. So x is 16. So Harshita gets how much that is here. This is, is to 4. This is for Harshita. That is 4x. So we know x is 16. So 4 will keep as it is and multiply by 16. So she gets 64 chocolates. So here already Muskan chocolates. This is 48. And Harshita is getting 64 chocolates. The cost of a mobile phone is rupees 18,000 and that of a laptop is 42,000. Find the ratio of the cost in simplest form. So first let, let us write here, cost of a mobile phone is to what is that? That is the laptop, cost of laptop. So this is 18,000, so below this mobile phone, we'll write here 18,000 and is to this is, laptop is 42,000. So now we will divide it, 18,000 divided by 42,000. So these three zeros get cancelled out. So now what I, as I told you, you can take the HCF of it, HCF of 18, 2 9s are, 3 3s are, and 3 1s are first take the factors with the help of prime factorization. So these are the factors of it. And then for 42, 2 21s are, 3 7s are, and 7 1s are. So now what will you get here? 2 into 3 into 3. This is for 18. And for 42, 2 into 3 into 7. So now let us take the common. So 2 and 3 means 2 times 3, that is going to be 6. So that is the SCF. So what are you going to do? 6 3s are and 6 7s are. So that is going to be 3 by 7. So that is 3 is to 7. The ratio of a father's age to that of his son is 3 is to 1. If the sum of the ages is 60, find the ages. So now, see, whenever this is given 3 is to 1 means this father's age to that of his son. So this is father's and the son that is 1. So let father's age be that is let us consider this x 3x and son's age will be this 1 means 1 into x that is going to be just x. This step is important. Now what it is if the sum of the ages is 60 sum of the ages is 60 means you are going to add this plus x, this one. So that will be 3x plus x that is 60. So 4x is 60 so x is going to be 60. This will be divided by 4 so that it will be 15 so x is 15 years so now they said find the ages means we have to find the age of father as well as the son so now you are good you got x is 15 so your son's age is now because that is son is x so x is 15 means son's age is 15 and father's age is going to be that is 3x 
So that will be 3 into, in place of x, you are going to put here 15. So that is going to be 45. And now you can, to cross check, this is 15 and 45. When you add both of them, that is 60. And this is the, the sum of the ages is 60. That means this is just to cross check. Hope that is clear. And don't forget to write these years because here that might cut half mark of yours. So write years. Now the ratio of the monthly income to the expenditure of a person is 6 is to 5. If the expenditure is rupees 12,000, find the monthly income. So we don't know the monthly income. So let us write here, start with the, let the monthly income be X. this one. Uh, sorry, the, here they said the ratio is given. The ratio of the monthly income to the expenditure. The ratio is given, 6 is to monthly income to the, this one means, as I told you in the start, that 2 means that is the ratio. They use the word 2 as well. So monthly income is, this is 6 and the expenditure is 5. So we can write here, let the mon monthly income be, this will be 6 means that will be, let us put there 6x and the expenditure we are going to put here 5x. So that is what I have written, let the monthly income be 6x and the expenditure be 5x. And then we will go for the second sentence, if the expenditure is 12,000. So expenditure means we have considered 5x, so 5x is 12,000. So this, we have to start with this one, so we get the value of x. So x will be 12,000 divided by 5, so when you divide it you get you can divide it separately and see we get 2400 so you have to write rupees 2400 that is x then they said if the expenditure you have to find the monthly income so monthly income what did we consider this is what as 6x so 6x means we already got the value of x as 2400 so 6 into 2400 so that is going to be rupees 14400 so hope this is clear so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.